What up, y'all? Forward Fabi man, back again with a video, man. We doing a reaction to college kids and if they know anything about politics, bro. Seems like the narrative nowadays is just to pick a side, just because to pick a side. Tied to your political party, but in actuality, you really don't know any details behind each party's arguments or the stances that they take. So let's go ahead and hop right into this video. Comment down below. Let me know y'all thoughts, man. Let's go. Trump or Kamala? Trump! Hey, you want to say something to Kamala? I mean, like, fuck this bitch, dude. She's just casting couch all the way to the top. I fucking love this man. He's yeah. my mother. He's the GOAT. Greatest of all time. MAGA! Oh, hi, guys. See her standing there. What do you say to her? Get the fuck out of my face. Tell her. She's fake as shit. <laughs> I just feel like he keeps it real. And I Bruh, I, like, you know how people like tough talk whenever nobody around? Like, imagine if Kamala pulled up. I think a certain people would talk trash, but a lot of folks would be quiet. I just fuck with him. He, he keeps it real. Like, she ain't going to talk about her right there. to her face like that. Yourself. <laughs> what a Trump or Kamala? Who we got? We got Trump all the way. Yes. Kamala. Yes. What's, your yes. what's your message? Trump 2024. Frankly, they say, Donald, how do you do it? How do you win? You keep winning, quite frankly. What's your message to Kamala? You are such a skank. Three time assassination yeah. survivor puts him way out of the competition. Yeah. How many bullets has she missed? Yo, she was in office before you. Not one. Shit. He's way out of the game. F Kamala, two fingers up, Kamala. F Kamala. I think her losing the election will probably be a huge miss, a huge bullet, you know, that she'll miss, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Talking about this guy right here. Yeah. Tell us why. Uh, because I'm not an idiot. Yeah. I and what you have to say to her face? She's an idiot. Yeah. No. What's your message? F her. This will work. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. We're here in Ybor City in Tampa, Florida. This is where. Yeah, it would be Florida, wouldn't it? The party here we is go. at every club, <laughs> every rave, every Let's bar get is right here on the street. It is Saturday night. So what do people think about my boy Trump? We're going to find out today on Benny on the Block. Let's go. They do this up north somewhere, man, like New York. You see this lady right here? She's not making America great again. This man right here. You see that hat, MAGA? Amazing. Trump or Kamala, what do you think, Trump. man? Trump. Trump. Yeah. What? Well, you got anything to say to Kamala? Got the race. <laughs> At least explain what your policies are. Did you make one million dollars today? No. Why? What stop? What stopped you today from making one million dollars? Her policies. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Yeah. Her <laughs> economy. Okay. So you're Trump. No, I am. You're Trump. Yeah. Okay. You're Kamala. Kamala. Okay. All right. All right. We're, we have time. completely different answers, and yeah, we. Still buddies man that's yeah, yeah, great sure. people yeah. love seeing that there's needs to be more of that actually yeah it's not basketball it's not football it's like their entire democracy yeah. right and like we should be able to disagree and still be able to and do this shit, like within those disagreements right look at that definitely not common exactly. absolutely not definitely not common why yeah. would i want to vote for a socialist yes that's right i mean i moved here from new york so why yeah. would i want to vote for that oh we got a new yorker's Yo, opinion I feel that. okay I was thinking since we down south, bro, everybody's going to be, you know, super um, with the program. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that program. But uh, we got some New Yorkers. We got some New Yorkers in the building. Fights. We're going to start fights. We got Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump, baby. Let's yeah, go. that's what I'm Kamala Harris all, all day. Yeah. That other one. What's that? <laughs> I feel like there are words unspoken here, sir. That's probably the best because the police are doing Oh, no. <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, make America great again, you heard me? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am actually not a Trump fan. However, when I heard that Biden was no longer going to run, I was so hopeful that we would have some a, a stand-up person to represent our country. And it's not Kamala. My son just joined the military. He just joined the Navy. So proud of him. Thank you. It changes my viewpoint a little bit. The biggest thing that we need right now is protection, and I feel like Trump is the right person. I worry that too many people are voting for Kamala because they are anti-Trump, and I just would love for them to... Vice versa, bruh. It, that's just... It, 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 it's, it's a narrative. It's a game of who I like, who make me feel better, who cooler, who, who, keep it a re who keeping it real in the media. You know what I mean? Like... People aren't naturally politically savvy. You may hear one policy or one headline. Oh, well, that don't really 
I don't think evaluate, it really doesn't evaluate a particular party. Uh, a lot of the narrative or what people run with is who they like, who make them feel better, who cooler in the media. Man, Trump, he avoided three assassinations, man. He ready to run, you know. Like, you know, God bless Trump. You know, God, God guarded his life. You know, hopefully he continued to do so. You know what I'm saying? I can't predict the future, but somebody being able to dodge bullets doesn't really make him the most qualified to be our president does it you see what i mean there's no substantial arguments it's just college and it's funny you would say these are just college kids bro grown adults got the same type of responses let's keep it a thousand to really look deeper into the matter and really consider the huge implications of what this vote really means wow that was unexpected and awesome all day, baby. Trump all day, just because you use big words don't make it like you know what I'm saying? why is that small business owner and his policies regarding the border yeah. 10 million i think came in this year and it almost seems like our country's leaning more towards supporting the immigrant rather than the citizen i feel like everyone everyone deserves a happy helpful place to live a government that supports them and i'm sorry that your government collapsed but the united states has played big daddy to every single country ever it's about time that we focus back on ourselves i mean you know that how they say you should work on yourself before you get into a relationship America needs to work on itself before we be big brother to everyone else. And that's fact. That's fact. I can agree with his standpoint on that. You know, the country's naturally been like we're the superpower. And big brother, big daddy, what you want to call it. I think America naturally got like there's a certain pride tied into it. And it's the higher ups that are, you know, uh, I don't know the house, whatever the Senate, what you want to say, the, 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 the people who are in higher seats and positions and how they run the country in association with the president. Right. But, um, they kind of take a pride. I think there's a pridefulness tied to the representation of America being what it is. So yeah, immigrants come on over. We'll give you all jobs and, uh, Bro, if you were an asylum seeker, though, that's a whole different story to me. Like, if you were literally escaping death from your country or whatever, that's different. I think we can kind of, you know, bend the bars on that a little bit. But when it's just like, oh, man, you hopping, you coming in illegally, and then it's like illegal criminals, that's that's a little bit much, right? So I agree with that narrative, but I think America naturally try to do too much for no reason. It's like you know salute to buddy what he said take care of your own business before you start handling other people's business smart individuals smart people sharp what's your message to my man i love when you're in office i love the things you do bring it let's go is that how tall she is actually is, this is these are life-size heights a life-size yeah. man now we were shocked how short she actually is. Yeah, you see what i'm actually... saying he said nah she, she's not fit to run our country because she's too short you see what i'm saying there's no substantiability right there <laughs> Be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> What's Real up, man? Nation of Pepsi's still alive. That's right. Ah. The guy's got top the man. They can't shoot him three times. Proof, bulletproof, 59 scared. You can oh, that was hard. Video. That was hard. They put Trump's head on Neo's body in the Matrix. <laughs> that boy dodging bullets. Trump. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Why? Because he has way better policies and Kamala doesn't know what the f And these ain't college kids, bro. Like, a, a majority of the people he already interviewed are like, 30 plus, 40 plus. Come on, man. Oh, she's she not in college. She is actually copying a lot of my plan. In fact, we're going to send her a MAGA cap. Yeah. And she knows how to talk to the audience and she knows how to sell herself to you. And she's a liar. She's an actress. Yeah. That's literally yeah. what she is. Yeah. If you watch the um, debate, she's literally just like, she's literally a liar. Yeah. Better. Bruh, politics is acting. Wake up and smell the coffee. If you're trying to earn a vote, don't you think you need to kind of side with particular communities societies parties in order to earn respect trust especially if you know a lot of folks are flipping votes flipping sides you know this election go around people who are democrat ain't really voting democrat you know they they hop so how does that occur obviously in terms of the economy and maybe things that have occurred over the years and how the country's being ran but additionally Politicians need to win, earn votes. They need to say things or promise things that they plan to do once in office that will help the average American. Bro, it's an act. Because let's keep it a bean. You think everything Donald Trump's advocating for is going to come to pass in four years? Probably not. 
um, that's the thing about when you switch presidencies. And that's why I'm a big advocate of you doing two terms, right? Because we can see a little bit more fluidity. But when it says four years here and four, bro, he can do his best, but he only got four years. Economy, yes, safer economy, country. and I'm a broke college student, and I'm trying to. Oh, buy she a is in college. Older. Yes. So what? Hey, make America great again. Trump she looks thirty. Let's go afford some f***ing houses. I want a house. The accent. Hit him with the accent. Trump twenty four. Quite frankly, we need Trump back in the White House. Quite frankly, <laughs> frankly, go f*** Bro. yourself. <laughs> Jack Sparrow. Come on, guys. Are they really that? Is that the height difference in real life? Yes. Yes. These yeah, that boy like 6'4". Do you not believe in being fair? We do. Trump or Kamala? Yeah, Trump or Kamala. I'm not sure I want to say that. <laughs> who you got? Chat, y'all know who I got. But look, look. I'm not sure I want to say it, you know, in front of a camera, though. Why? So that means Trump. Who cares? Oh! That means when you're afraid to say it in front of a camera, like, what is you? What is your representation? What are you fighting for? You're just a voter, right? Like... <laughs> There you have it, man. I think we kind of get the gist of this video. Just kids in Tampa. Try to be assassin twice. Like, she not a college student, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's keep it a thousand. She's not in college, man. But point being, you get the understanding. You kind of hear the cries from the people, what people really resonating with this go around. And it's Trump. I think it's Trump by landslide. Like, come on, man. Trump is ending racism. One voter at a time, bruh. Like, the amount of minorities that you're seeing siding with Trump, whereas when he first came into office, everybody's like, bro's a racist, man. Like, he don't like anything but white people. And people just, that's what I mean, while people will pick apart their feelings and how they assume people are. There's just an assumption about Trump when he first came in because he was talking about grab her by the what's it called? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so people just naturally disliked him. You don't need to like somebody for them to make wise choices and decisions for the country, bro. And he's been uh, it's been proven that he's done certain things that has helped our economy. And at the end of the day, bro, people only care about the dollar. People care about money. <laughs> really? You think that's probably the number one thing. Any policies tied to Americans getting the most bang on their buck or pretty much just uh, tax cuts and things of that sort, bro. Like, that's what people care about. <laughs> Let's keep it honest, man. Comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this in the comment section below, man. Peace, love, prosperity. God bless. We'll see you on the next video. We out.